Live from New York City, it's Wendy Williams. Today, the delightful Kristen Chenoweth tells Wendy all about her hilarious role in Rio 2 and her hot new romance. Plus, we're getting trendy at Wendy, sharing the best discounts on today's hottest items. And all the latest juicy hot topics. Now, here's Wendy. The tickets are free. You can be here too at wendyshow.com. I'm feeling curly. Antoine did this, didn't he? Yeah. I like this, Antoine. I like my hair. So look, Brandy's engagement is officially over. Miley Cyrus has landed herself in the hospital. Oh. And Lamar Odoms might be heading back to New York. Oh. Let's talk about it and more. It's time for Hot Topics. Every once in a while, you have to step out of the box. I am normally not this curly. This is not an everyday thing, but it's like a drive-by, and I don't mind it. Not bad for a Wednesday. Um, all right, everyone. So, when you woke up this morning, did you hear the news that Jay-Z and Beyonce are going on summer tour? Yeah. Well, um, do you want tickets for this tour? Yeah. them for you. I was just asking a question. <laughs> um, I think that this would be a great summer tour. A lot of people, uh, you know, here at Wendy were saying, you know, rolling their eyes and sucking their teeth and saying, why don't they sit down? It's not as if they need more money. No, they, they meant it in a positive way, although here everything comes out shady. Um, <laughs> No, they were saying, well, why don't Jay-Z and Beyonce sit down and relax and, and, and take a long winter's nap? You know, like, be, because they're everywhere, so, like, they kind of water it down. It's, I mean, they're always at the restaurants. They even went to Coachella, which, you know, she just came off tour, and he just came off world tour. They both just came off of world tour, as you know. They have Baby Blue, um, but I feel like Jay-Z and Beyonce have so created a space that no one is going to be able to touch for a long time. I mean, not just separately. Separately, Jay-Z is dynamic. Now, Drake is good, but Drake is no Jay-Z. Yeah. You know what I mean? There, there's no Birdman, there's no Little Wayne, there's no, you know, you, I mean, Future's good, but Future, it's not, it's not a Jay-Z situation. And these other girls out here, they're okay. But it's really hard to thrive in a Beyonce world. And be clear, it is still her world. So, my feeling is if they go out on tour and if they're always out at the restaurants, then they're kind of taking away what makes them special to us, which is I wonder where they've been. We're not going to. We often forget people who are out of the spotlight very quickly. But I think that these two could take off for a one full year and not leave the house. And when they come back, everything will be fresh. There will still be nobody sitting on their thrones and we would appreciate them more. That's all. That's all. But uh, check your schedules because they're gonna be touring 20 cities. And if you happen to be here in New York, they're gonna be here, I think, at Madison Square Garden on 4th of July. I know. Now those are some fireworks. So it's official. Brandy Norwood's engagement to her manager, Ryan Press, is off. Now, the streets have been talking for a moment. He's a nice looking man, isn't he? 
Yeah. Um, the streets have been talking for a moment about this relationship possibly being over. Uh, back in February, Brandy stopped wearing her engagement ring. Um, and then uh, about two or three weeks ago, we were talking about it. And, and they sent us um, a very soft statement about the demise of this relationship. But now it's really confirmed, confirmed. And here is a quote from one of Brandy's people. Uh, the person says, Brandy and Ryan are no longer together. The engagement is off, but the friendship is still on. Sidebar, don't believe that. <laughs> they decided to take a step back and reevaluate the relationship. They haven't ended things on a bad note, and they still speak all the time. Don't believe that. <laughs> uh, like, I don't, I don't believe that. They would have just been better off kind of saying nothing, or maybe Brandy you know, putting it out there on Twitter that, you know, things happen, taking a picture of her engagement ring, and womp womp after that, you know? <laughs> I hate, like, when there's a spin on broken relationships where they say they're still friends and they speak all the time. Use a lie, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Who maintains friendships with their ex unless you're sharing kids, and then you have to go through the war before you become friends? Or, you know, you have a house to sell. When Brandy was here, she said that Ryan moved into her house. So just pack your toothbrush, take your stuff from the top drawer, and get out. Um, you know. Uh, sometimes we don't even, and I, I know you think I'm nosy, but sometimes even I don't need to know why a relationship is broken up. And this statement didn't say why. It just said that they're still friends. Well, he's not um, just her um, ex, but he's also her manager. If I were her, it's now time to fire the manager. <laughs> he was probably only a half manager anyway, because I love Sonia. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell no, I'll tell you why. She's got an overbearing mom in a good way, Sonia. So, Mrs. Norwood, no, this is why, this is why you don't see Brandy uh, strung out, out here falling out of the clubs, because, you know, her mom is no Dina Lowen. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that, but when I, uh, these days, when you think of a bad mother and a bad father and a wayward girl, don't you think of the Lowens of Long Island? Yes. Not the Norwoods of Northridge or wherever they live. Um, but um, Dean, um, Sonia has always supervised what goes on with Brandy and her sibling, Ray J. And I, I suspect that she will also figure out who's going to manage Brandy next. Brandy um, has not been so lucky in love, and she's 35 years old. And, you know, I know, doesn't time fly? Don't you remember practically when she was, you know, sitting up in my room? <laughs> remember that song? So we've all watched her grow up, but she's 35 years old now, and it's time to buckle down and get this relationship thing right. And if it's not right for Brandy, then it's all right with us. And good luck, young lady. Yeah. So you heard about Miley Cyrus in the hospital? Yeah. She's allergic to antibiotics. Oh. Well, I know. So look. So she's on tour, and she had to cancel a concert last night. They rushed her to the hospital due to a severe re reaction to antibiotics. Well, you know, ever the clown, and, and in a good way, there she is, her octopus and her doctors, and she tweeted something about, you know, I'm being taken care of by my octopus and my doctors. According to TMZ, um, she's been going through an emotional mess and partying way too hard after the coyote death of her dog, Floyd. Well, you know, um, it's, the thing about Floyd is Floyd was the last tie to uh, Miley and Liam. And even though Liam and she are not engaged anymore and they've both gone on in their relationships, you know, they, they got this dog and raised this dog together and I guess uh, Miley retained custody. <laughs> But the dog was attacked, allegedly, by coyotes, and she took it really hard. And I'm not a pet owner, but I can only imagine how horrible that must be. And then also the symbolism of the finality of, you know, what once was her greatest love thus far. So I get it where she's probably, like, an emotional wreck. And, um... Then somebody tried to get her another dog to replace Floyd, and she had that dog, Mooney, for two weeks, 
and she had to return the dog. There's Mooney. Because she's, you know what she said? She said that she's not ready to love that deep again. I know. In the meantime, at the concert venue, all these kids are like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, I was talking to, you know, here at Wendy, we have all ages of people. You know, we've got very young people and we've got very old people. Um, but I like to get, I like to get the, I like to get the opinions of a lot of different people when, when we talk about stuff. Because for me, like if I was going to see a concert and the person I'm going to see had to cancel at the last minute, I would almost be happy <laughs> on account of I'm almost 50 and I could go home and watch the 10 o'clock news. <laughs> and you know what I mean? And, 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 and I, I sell the tickets on eBay and I'm not, it's not a thing. But for these young kids who go see Miley Cyrus, you remember how it was when you were younger and you'd go to concerts? You'd be planning from the moment you bought the tickets at Ticketmaster, what are you gonna wear? Whose mom's gonna drive you? Or, or who's gonna drive? You know, how, what side are you gonna part your hair? What diner are you gonna hit afterwards? When are you gonna start drinking? What, who's gonna carry the flasks into the venue? Stop judging, weren't you young once? I know I was. These days, these kids, some of them, put a lot into concert. Who's gonna secure the weed? You know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, fortunately, I haven't heard any uprise or seen anything on social media where people are hating on Miley. You know, I guess the hospital picture probably softened the blow, like our girl really is sick. So, uh, good luck getting well, Miley, and you kids, uh, you know, you'll see her someday. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I know sometimes I can be hard on Lamar Odom, um, but I'm really happy for him. Uh, the last time I talked about him, I was hard on him because I told him, stop calling Chloe, let her move on with her life, you know? And you remember the last time, uh, last month, uh, we were telling you that he returned from playing uh, European basketball after a back injury, which, you know, he's a 30-something. Once you start hurting your back in your 30s and you're an athlete, you're, it's almost like you're on your last toe out of basketball. Alas, according to sources, the New York Knicks might be signing Lamar. I know. And I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why I think that this is a great thing, for obvious reasons. We all know that Lamar is from Queens, New York. We all know that Lamar has two children who are, you know, one is like 16 and one is like 14. They're all old enough to see daddy's crazy, you know? <laughs> And of course, he's got lovely Liza, uh, his baby's mother. The three of them all live up in the Bronx. You know, he's spending so much time chasing Chloe around and, and doing whatever he does in LA that I, you know, I would suspect he doesn't probably spend a whole lot of time with his kids. And I also think that Lamar needs to move back to New York and get away from that woman and the rest of the Kardashians. Yeah. I think it would be good for Lamar. And finally, thank goodness for Phil Jackson, who is now with our Knicks. He was with the Lakers, because that means <laughs> Phil, Jackson, Phil Jackson has some compassion for a player who played for him before. Phil Jackson is good with wayward players. Remember, he handled Dennis Rodman. Although, D Dennis, last I heard, is still spiraling out of control. But at least for the moment that he was down with Phil Jackson, he flew right. So, Lamar, I hope that this is true. I'm not suggesting that I think that he'll be playing, like, you know, first string or starter. Or, you know, he might have, like, three minutes in a game. But at least it keeps him off the street. You know, and, and Lamar still has a few playing minutes left in him. So I hope this is true. Good luck uh, to Lamar. Okay. <laughs> so last night, you know, I had my book signing at the um, Trebekah Barnes and Nobles. It went really well. Shout out to everybody who was there. Hold Me in Contempt is the name of the book. So the book signing was successful. I sped home because I wanted to watch, um, I wanted to glance at Celebrity Wife, Wife Swap and, and my show Celebrities Undercover. And so look, what about Wife Swap? Did you watch? Clap in the audience if you did. Okay, Jermaine Jackson is a mess, right? Okay, Jermaine Jackson. Now you remember, shiny Jermaine changed the spelling of Jackson to be different. 
for his name. He spells it with S-U-N at the end. I know, I know. Okay, so he celebrity wife swapped with Daniel Baldwin. That's the oldest Baldwin. Now, this is not Daniel's wife. This is actually his girlfriend. But you know, reality shows, ne there's never real. It's ne I mean, it, who are the housewives are really wives? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, and this is, and then at the top, that's Jermaine Jackson, <laughs> looking shiny as ever. With his wife of nine years, she is some sort of heiress from the Middle East. Ooh. They've been married for nine years. They met on the line at Starbucks. <laughs> That's how Rosie O'Donnell met her wife. You never, when you're in Starbucks, look, make sure that you smile, because you, ne you never know who you're gonna meet. Okay, so, on the show, they called Jermaine a Hollywood hoarder. <laughs> and we've got the footage to prove it. Would you look at all, I just, I can barely breathe when I look at all that mess. All those perfumes, half of them are probably rancid. If you, I mean, you know, all the shoes. And, and Daniel's girlfriend could not believe what a hoarding house, do you know the premise of wife swap, don't you? Yeah. It is what the title says, they swap the wife. Uh, this is the brand new season, so that was the first episode. We're not too late to catch the rest of the season. Anyway, Daniel's girlfriend called um, a moving company to move the clothes out. <laughs> Now that is a little bit overstepping, but Jermaine wasn't at least able to meet her halfway. He shut the whole production down. And by the way, while he's talking, notice how laid with shoe polish it looks like. The side, the, the side of his hair is. Uh, uh, um, uh, roll, the, roll the tape. Halima wrote out this manual. Jermaine is a shopaholic. His clothes take up every nook and cranny in the house. It drives me insane. Do it for Halima. It ain't gonna happen. There is no other way right now to do this. It ain't gonna happen. It's gotta happen. It ain't gonna happen. It's my rules. Nobody's gonna touch my clothes, and they're gonna stay right where they are. And that is a rule. Jermaine. He's not getting in. Jermaine, come on. Just call the guard. No way. I mean, the thing about Jermaine is that you do have to give him credit because after the death of Michael, he is the most, I guess, relevant Jackson, you know? Um, uh, he keeps himself out there. I don't know that this is a good look. Though. How many people in the audience, just by clapping, are self-admitted hoarders? Is anybody a hoarder here? Yeah. 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 I might be the... Op absolute opposite of a hoarder. Like, I am constantly giving things away and throwing things away. You could virtually eat off the floor in our basement. Like, there's, there's nothing going on. I, I like it clean and simple. You know, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, we're gonna have our closet bazaar getting rid of old clothes on the Wendy Show, and we're gonna invite you to come. Like, I, I can't breathe with a lot of crap around. <laughs> Jermaine? You're a mess. And also, I thought Jermaine was having money problems, but at one point during the episode, he says, I'm gonna go take my Ferrari for a spin. Oh. And if you're asking, do they have a housekeeper? Yes, they do have a housekeeper, because the dog was dookie in the backyard all over the, all over the ground. And then um, he looked outside, he was like, well, I guess the maid is not here yet, you know, observing the dookie. So, you know, on one hand, you hear about Jackson money problems. On the other hand, there was a whole bizarre, there was a whole driveway garage sale going on in that house for a few extra dollars. And I guess you're wondering, like me, well, if he's married to a Middle Eastern heiress, then why isn't she helping out? Probably because her father would be like my father. Nope, you married a man, you let a man take care of you. <laughs> So, the Celebrity Wife Swap, good first episode. We're watching. You probably heard this story already. I was gonna share it with you yesterday. I didn't get around to it on account of we had more show to do. <laughs> but, and Hot Topics was over. But the supermodel Kate Upton is um, not loving the boobs that are the adornment of her amazing curves. Uh, you know, first of all, Kate Upton is such a pretty girl next door type of pretty. Like, she is pretty, not in the 
classic, like when you think of supermodel, you think chiseled jaw and, and you know, very bony, skinny. She is just a girl at the mall who happens to be gorgeous, I, I think. And she's not a bone, you know, she's a, a little fickalicious. <laughs> but her boobs um, are what she doesn't like. She says that she wishes that they were smaller. Well, this is a classic case of the grass is always green. She says that, she, you know, she, if they were smaller, she could wear spaghetti straps. And, uh, yeah, well, those are spaghetti straps. <laughs> Although, they're, they're straining, though, right? <laughs> I think that she looks terrific. Look, she's got a little bit of this. Uh, I, Kate, you, you just want attention, don't you? <laughs> yeah. She says, she says that um, she wishes that, she, that um, something was invented, like clip on, clip off breasts, so she can have them some days and not have them others. That's so cute. You're so pretty. And she's in that new movie, too, by the way, that opens up on Friday that I'm going to see. You know, the one with, um, you know, the one with, yep, this one. So, yep, so Kate will be watching, and you keep jiggling. Oh, the, <laughs> the movie's called The Other Woman, and it airs on April 24th in the movie theaters. April 25th. All right, everybody, keep clapping. Kristen Chenoweth is here. I haven't had Kristen on the show in so long. She's one of my fave guests. She's a delight. She has lots to talk about, including a new romance, so we'll catch up with her. Plus, we're going to show you how to get the hottest accessories for spring at huge, and I mean huge discounts. But up next, it's fun for Celebrity Fan Out, so don't miss it. Tomorrow, she's a friend to the show, and I just love her. The legendary Whoopi Goldberg is coming back to the couch to dish about her new Lifetime movie, A Day Late and A Dollar Short. Plus, it's that time of year again. Style expert Liliana Vasquez is stopping by with the hottest spring dresses. It's an all-new Wendy, tomorrow. Back. I'm glad you're still watching. It is time for Celebrity Fan Out, the Dancing with the Stars edition. Let's go. All right. Our first Celebrity Fan Out comes from Louis D., who watches The Wendy Show on KTVU in San Francisco, California. And Louis writes, how you doing, Wendy? I was in Miami at one of my favorite clubs on Saturday night when I spotted one of my favorite reality stars. It was NeNe Leakes. We got our grown and sexy on that night, and she's a riot. Why is your hand on a married woman's butt? <laughs> and it's not like Nene's moving. Maybe she was feeling no pain. <laughs> Very disrespectful, Louie, but thank you for your fan out. Take your hand off her butt. All right. Our next celebrity fan out comes from Karen C., who watches our show on WJBK in New Hudson, Michigan. Karen writes, hey, Wendy, how you doing? I was dropping off my kids at the ice skating arena when I noticed a crowd gathering around at the end of the rink. I was so thrilled when I realized it was Olympic champs Charlie Davis and Meryl White. Now, now remember, this is the Dancing with the Stars edition, and they are participants as well as Olympic winners. Um, I knew that they practiced at the rink. Uh, she says it was a dream come true, yada, yada, yada. They were so sweet, and they took this picture with, uh, with the parents and all the skaters. Aww. Wow, nice people. Good. Thanks, Karen. Our next celebrity fan out comes from Melissa L., who watches our show on KJW in Cleveland, Ohio. And Melissa writes... Uh, my friend Sebastian was performing stand-up at a club when a very famous comedian showed up. It was Drew Carey. It, you know, it's funny. It's been years since Drew Carey's sitcom, but he still goes back to Cleveland. Good for He's a good guy, Drew Carey. Um, and Melissa says he was so excited not only to meet him, but um, to perform on the same stage as him as well. What a dream come true. Aww. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> <clears throat> Our last Dancing with the Stars edition of Celebrity Fan Out comes from uh, Kaya. Uh, Kaya, watches, Kaya W. watches our show on KTTV in Los Angeles, California. And Kaya writes, how you doing, Wendy? 
I work at a store, and one day my coworker pointed out that a celebrity had just walked in. When I asked who it was, she said, the old guy from Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> I immediately knew it was Len Goodman. Before taking the picture, I asked him if I could, if he could wait so I could put on some lip gloss, and he said, darling, you look gorgeous. You don't need that. You know, Len, you're a very handsome man yeah. b behind the judge's table and in real life. Uh-huh. And, and you're not bad looking either, Kaya. Thank you so much for your yeah, celebrity encounter. If you've ever had an encounter with a celebrity and you've got the picture to prove it, go to wendyshow.com because, like I always say, sharing is caring. Up next, everybody, the always entertaining Kristen Chenoweth is here. You too. <laughs> Our first guest might be little, but she's got a personality larger than life. She's an Emmy and Tony Award winning actress who plays Pink, the poisonous frog, in the new animated film Rio 2. Please welcome back to our show the always enjoyable Kristen Chenoweth. <laughs> Stick on your teeth here. Oh, thank you. It's okay. See, this is why I love Wendy. Yep. <laughs> yep. There you go. And stars like us. So, yep. <laughs> you, you've been here. You've been here quite a few times since our show was invented, and we made you the apple box years ago, and Whoa. so we still have it for you. It's pink bedazzled. And let, let's give you a little shoe cam as well here. Oh, no, down here. Uh huh. To this date, you're the only guest, or maybe it's Snooki also, but you're yeah. you're smaller than Snooki. Am but I? I think so. It, <laughs> you're the only guest whose feet dangle and swing <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I do have a problem when I go out to eat restaurants. My feet dangle. It's, it's really? Not always, yeah, it's very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I'd like an iced tea. <laughs> so let's. I'd like to make a deposit. <laughs> Where's your mother, little girl? I need a cup. Just one of your legs would be great. <laughs> oh, all right, let's talk yeah. hair. And we talked about oh. hair on Hot Topics, uh, stars who've cut their yes. hair drastically short. And when we told your story, this was a few months ago, if you watch every day. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we talked about uh, the word that Jennifer Lopez yeah. encouraged you to cut your hair. Uh. And I said that she was just trying to be the prettiest girl in the room, so she wants everybody else to cut their hair off. But no, this is cute on you. Do, how are you feeling it? Well, I love it. And she was, we were doing a movie together, and I said, I kind of want to look different. And I said, I've always wanted to kind of cut my hair. And she said, you should go for it. And we were just talking as girls. I love this woman. Uh -huh. I mean, talk about a real girl. She's wow. just, yeah, she's just got your back. And she's like, go for it, go for it. And so she kind of gave me the encouragement. I like it, and I think it was great for the movie. I really want your opinion. My mom loves it. She's like, it's so sophisticated and it works on you. Everybody has long hair, you know, it's different. But I do miss my ponytail. Also, I'm not good at doing my hair on my own. When you have short hair, it's a commitment, people. It's that's, a commitment. That's what my sister says, because I was telling you guys that my sister cut her hair short and she said, Wendy, I can't leave the house without earrings. I always have to yes. have a little bit of makeup on. It's, yes. it's more of a commitment than and long this hair. Area. Yeah. I'm and, much and that, more aware of that now. As you get a little older, although you do have a nice chiseled jaw. Thank you. You keep your weight together. This is why I love my Wendy. Thank you. But I will tell you. Are you in the process of maybe doing something different? Well, I'm, I'm, I can't believe I'm going to reference this, but you know Yolanda um, Foster on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Her hair color and her haircut, I love. It's like a little bit, it's almost like yours on the front row right there. Oh, It's you, like uh, that. At the end, yes. But, but I'd, I'd go really, really blonde, which I would need help with, obviously, some chemicals on my hair. But <laughs> that, that cut is what I like. But nobody waits for their hair to grow out anymore. We buy it. Just buy uh, yourself a bundle. <laughs> buy yourself a bundle and let's get this party started. Yeah, I know all about it. So, I know all about it. 
intentions. Mine come from Russia. Okay, okay. Okay. So now I was reading Us Magazine. One of my favorite <laughs> sections in the Us Magazine <laughs> is looking inside women's handbags Me too. on account of I'm nosy. <laughs> so you've got a beautiful pink Chanel bag, and yes. inside I'm seeing a hypochondriac. <laughs> okay. I know. Uh, you have different kinds of moisturizer. I see an asthma pump. I see Advil, uh, uh, Tylenol. I see a neck, bra a neck brace. Are you okay? Is everything okay? What is going on? I'm so, I do, and I also have Tiger Balm and Ricola. It's so embarrassing. I have. Are you well? I mean, I know you got hit in the head with the light on the yes. TV show. Yes, uh, I have a, a, a kind of a neck injury that I live with. So when I travel, I have that. I'm, I'm glad they didn't show the masks that I wear because I'm a singer. Um, I wear these like masks, so I wear the neck brace and mask, and people stay far away from me, which I love. And wow. now, and and you have asthma. And I, I heard do. you just recently um, came out of the closet with it. <laughs> but what, well, why? So, asthma is very common. I know 25 million Americans have it. Yeah. And I'm working with the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America to get the word out that that we want. Well, our, what thank you need, you. To, you know what you need to tell them. I'll, yes. te I'll tell you what you need to tell them. Because I know plenty of people who have asthma, and with insurance, the actual pump that um, a couple of people that I know uh -huh. is two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Without insurance, the pump is like two hundred. Yes. If you lose the, the the pump, it's like three hundred dollars. Yes. And the worst thing that could happen for asthma sufferers is that there's no more primatine. That's right. It, medication in it. You reach for it and it's gone. So that's our message is know your count. So your dose usage. That's why on the asthma inhaler I get them that have the number on there so you know how many you have left. Yeah. And so you can go on knowyourcount.com and check it out. But that's the message. It's very simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how it slinks in your face well, though. I'm, that, I'm sort of sexy. trying to work it. Yes. <laughs> no. Work the eye slink. How is it possible? And I'm not just saying this because I'm on the show but how is it possible that you get more beautiful? Oh. I'm looking at her. Thank I'm looking you. at your eyes Thank and your you. hair. Thank you. Just the whole situation. Thank this you. This right here. Thank you. And that and that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so now. Hashtag jealous. <laughs> let, Hashtag no, jealous. Let's talk about your new man, the producer of Fifty Shades of Hay, the movie <laughs> Gray. Yes. yes. I love your dress. I was watching Ryan Seacrest talk to you two on the Oscars red uh -huh. carpet, and I mm -hmm. said, she looks so happy and beautiful and in love oh and my all God, that. Thank you. I'm so happy. You know, because you and I have talked before. You haven't been lucky in love. I know that you want love in your life. You're from the South. Yes. Al are you Alabama? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Alabama, Oklahoma, and, same thing. And your and your family, and your family with all this showbiz schmobiz stuff, they want the, that good old-fashioned relationship for their Kristen. I'm the girl that comes home and they're like, yeah, she's not married. Yeah, <laughs> even though she got a Tony, but no, she's not. <laughs> Talk about your boyfriend, Dana. Okay, first of all, I was nominated for Captain Phillips. That's why we're at the Oscars. Second of all, I love him with the beard. He just shaved it. He's still hot. Okay. <laughs> Number three, that dress that I'm wearing right there weighed more than me. I can believe that. It was Cavalli. It was beaded. And, you know, I have to say, I've had some great men in my life, and this is another one. He's a great guy. Yeah. Now, have, have you took him home, taken him home to meet the family? Wendy. Now, you know, uh, we're, we have probably similar backgrounds, you and me. Yes. I think we do. We've talked about it before. I but... heard that your, your father prays at the well, table. We pray at yeah. the table and we hold hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do it at the restaurant. Does your family pray at the restaurant? I mean, we're, not if we're at the <laughs> Cracker Barrel, but if we're at a nice place, we will. <laughs> If we're at a nice place, we will. Do they like him? Yes, but he's like, we, you know, my dad goes. Let's pray. And Dana's like, what? What's happening? Aw it's, it's awkward. It's, I should have warned him. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're in love. How long have you been with him before seven, we go? To the seven months. Probably. All right. Good. Let's keep this you know, going. I just, I just like somebody that gets it. You know, yes. gets the business and what we do. All right. I'm... Speaking of the business, there's so much more going on in Kristen's n n life. I want to find out whether you're going back to Broadway. I okay. know that you're going to be doing Carnegie Hall yes. and so many other things in her life. So more with Kristen Chenoweth next. <laughs> Survive. We will survive. I'm a survivor. I got the eye of a tiger. Be training the game and eat to my fiber. You can stay in the live while I be staying alive. Watch where you sit when I spit my saliva. Like, ooh, you never seen that chocolate too. Rocking and chucking and dropping and popping and locking too. Watch what I can do without no auto tune. Say what? Ooh. 
no, he didn't. Oh, yes, they did. We're back with Kristen Chenoweth. That was a scene from her new movie, Rio 2. You <laughs> play the pink poisonous uh, uh, frog. frog. What's your name? Uh, Gabby. She likes to talk. So cute. You're good. That voiceover thing is great. It's fun. People think, oh, you don't have to show up in hair and makeup. You can just do it. And you can, but it's a lot of work. Yes. You just got to create it with your voice. It, but I love it. You have such a distinct voice also. I know. All right, so you have so the movie. So do you. I'd take your voice. <laughs> just one day, if I could answer the phone and hello in her voice, <laughs> I'd be so happy. I'd get dates. I would be amazing. <laughs> well, you have a boyfriend. Oh, right, right, right. And you have a big career. Okay, so you have real too. Um, you're a Tony Award winning uh, Broadway uh, actress. I think of you as the type of person who will play on Broadway until forever. You and um, Matthew Broderick. There's certain people that I just, I think immediately Broadway. Any plans to return? Yeah, um, soon there's going to be an announcement, but within the year I'll be back on Broadway. <laughs> And then, after 10 years, I hear you're returning to Carnegie Hall. Yeah. That's big. I'm nervous, Wendy, because I've got about 40% new program and that of planning this night. And you know you got to live with stuff. We all what have to... What do you do at Carnegie Hall? You sing songs? Yeah, I sing all... M m some new songs, some things that I grew up singing that I haven't visited in 30 years. Yes. Some things that are new, you know, that nobody's heard. So I'm excited. It's called Evolution of a Soprano. It's more about the evolution of me as a woman, as a how artist. Many, how many outfit changes? Two. Perfect. Act one and act two. <laughs> all right, well, you know... <laughs> Um, you know, I love you so much. I got you a break a leg gift, and uh, but 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 look, no, but we're all just just look. Stand up next to me. I love you so much. Well, this is our friend Kristen Chenow with everybody for more information on her May third concert at Carnegie Hall. Go to wendyshow.com and check out her new movie, Rio 2. It's in theaters now. Up next, unbelievable discounts on some of the hottest trends of the season. Don't go far. Join the party and be a part of my live studio audience. Visit wendyshow.com to request your free tickets today. And make sure you dress to impress. I can't wait to see you. for Trendy at Wendy. I love this segment because we're here to show you how to stay on trend and on budget with the hottest accessories and special discounts only for our Wendy crew. Yeah. yeah. Everything that you see on the table will be available for a limited time at wendyshow.com. Please welcome our girl with the goods, our friend Nicole Laffin. Yeah. Nicole. Yeah. Nicole, let's not wait a moment. Let's talk. Let's get um, right to it. What do we have today? Broke down hats. When I saw Halle Berry wearing this, I was like, I have to bring this on Trendy on Wendy. Look at her. She is rocking this cute, slouchy, sexy hat. Cute. Eight styles we have here. Perfect for the gym, for the beach, for running errands. There's a cadet style. There's a cap style. It retails for $79. And people love to have a connection to celebrities. So That's right. Halle but loves only broke down. for Trendy at Wendy. 63% off, $29. Perfect. Okay, I what's this? I put them on your head, but I, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm I, not even here. I've got moving parts right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tarina Tarantino, she's a really hot celebrity accessory designer. So she's And Quentin Tarantino's sister, right? That's right. Okay, go ahead. Look at that. So she's dressed Cameron Diaz. She's dressed uh, Heidi Klum, have worn her accessories. Now she's doing makeup, so we're really excited about this. This is a four-piece set where you can get a little sample of what she has going on. Eyeshadow, mascara, face primer, blush. It goes for $128 retail. Just... For Wendy Watchers, we have 67% off for $42. Fantastic. And see, keep in mind, graduation, Mother's yes. Day, there are events coming up where you need stuff on the cheap. On the ready. Leto Collection uh, Lightweight Spring Scarves. I am not good at tying my own scarves. So this is like the, the easy peasy version. You just have to wrap it around twice. Yeah, you got, you got um, the... yeah these are the Leto scarves. They retail for $30. 70% off. $9. $9? Wendyshow.com. Yeah. All right. Well, like, happy Mother's Day, Molly. There you, you go. Know what you're getting. 
happy, happy for everybody All day. right, now, what uh, are we doing here? Jure and Pele, a super hot celeb brand right now. Uh, we, we've seen Taylor Swift rocking these, uh, Vanessa Hudgens rocking these. These are, you know, a little bit of an investment. Beautiful first. leather, pebble leather. Real pebble leather, um, gold-plated. They retail for $295, okay? okay. But just for Wendy Watchers, they're 73% off, so they're $79. All right. Thank you, Nicole, for all of this. Now, remember, these amazing deals are for Wendy Watchers only, but for a limited time as well. So go to wendyshow.com right now and purchase before they sell out. Yeah. Up next, everybody, we're going to reveal our Wendy Instagram winner of the day. Don't go far. Glam, the celebrity look of the day that we're checking out is Mindy Kaling. You know, what I love is that she is not a tiny girl. She's a real woman's body, but she is going with that crop top and matching skirt combo, and I love it. I love it. Today's Instagram winners are, with the same twist on the trend, Ashley from Alabama. She's wearing a striped crop top and skirt to match. And as you know, we're in 52 countries. Cheryl watches us in Nairobi, and she's rocking a sexy tribal print combo. Uh, Cheryl, I love yours. And Jessa is in Long Island, New York, and she's pairing her, uh, her leather crop top with a T-length skirt. I love them all, and you're all going to be getting a mini Wendy, how you doing, diva fan. If you would like to be my, one of my Instagram, Instaglam winners of the day, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram for the look of the day. Keep it here. We'll be right back. Now, you can get those trendy at Wendy discounts on accessories, but only until April 23rd or while supplies last. You go to wendyshow.com for all the details. I want to thank Kristen Chenoweth. Always a pleasure. Nicole Lappin, thank you so much for being here. My co-host, my studio audience, love you. Yay! Tomorrow on the show, the one and only Rebecca Goldberg is stopping by, and I'm going to show you some fabulous and affordable dresses for spring. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye.